what's up guys welcome to another video and in today's video we have another small project for you guys this customer wanted us to remove some mulch in front of their yard along with weeds they also had a half inch border surrounding the grass area and their yard so we went ahead and removed that as well Here we're just trying to gather all the mulch. We're not trying to get all the dirt and extra stuff, just the mulch, because the mulch is heavy enough already. Here we're just trying to outline where the board is gonna go with our nice flat head 5,000 exclusive shovel that's hard to find. We're just gathering all the debris and all the mulch here, making a little sandstorm so the neighbors can know that we're out there. Unfortunately, this is the only green bin the customer had. So we are doing our best to just fill that up. Right here, we're just removing that half inch border that the customer had before. What we're gonna do is dig a little bit deeper to put that new bender board. For the most part, we do recommend customers for some good materials, but if they choose to go with other materials, that's fine as well. Right here, we're just measuring the bender board and laying that weed barrier as well. 
customers do have different preferences on what they like to use and we like our preferences as well because of the experience we do have doing these certain jobs when it comes to these weed um, barriers we don't really like this kind of material just because it's a little bit flimsy and they rip too easy but again it's up to the what the customer wants as well Here we had to cut the wood stakes that the customer bought just because they were too long. And these certain wood stakes too, they're actually kind of flimsy. They do break easy and we you know we don't really recommend um, certain uh, materials like these just because they're flimsy, they're cheap and they break easy. When we do buy mulch, we like to buy them by half yard, yard. We never go to Home Depot and actually buy the bags unless the customer does want them from Home Depot, then we'll go ahead and do so as well. It's all honestly on the customers on what they want and how much they want to spend at the end of the day. And if you guys are concerned, yeah, we did anchor these weed barriers down. The customer does have drip systems as well here. The drip systems weren't capped and most of them were ripped. So when the drip system did turn on, 
there was just squirting everywhere. So we went ahead and we did cap those uh, drip systems as well. Let us know in the comment section if you guys like these certain weed barriers. When it comes to weed barriers, you can do so much stuff. I found it that cardboard works as well too. So let me know in the comment section what you guys use. As you can see, the steak already cracked. Just because it's so cheap. They're very thin and flimsy. Also, let me know if you guys are a big fan of bender boards or not. I know half of our customers aren't really a big fan of bender boards and they rather use brick or another certain type of order. Here, we're carving out the left side of the yard with our mini flathead 5000 exclusive shovel. When it comes to bender boards, you don't have to dig too deep just because they're so thin and easy to place. Let me know if you guys have found any of these shovels. Here we have to cut the stake in half just because they were too long. If we were to hammer that whole stake onto the ground, it would probably crack in half. I also forgot to mention when we finished installing the mulch and the border, the customers came back with trees and plants and asked for us to plant them. We usually like to plant those before we install the weed barrier, the mulch and the border, just because it makes it easier on us. And my camera ended up dying here but we did get most of it for you guys we just didn't get the planting of the plants but at the end you can see the finished product if you guys did enjoy this video please give us a thumbs up leave us a comment and let us know what videos you guys are interested in and we'll do our best to bring that to you guys So here is where my camera dies, but we did get an end shot for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great one. Peace.